well damn. Quite a thing has happened on Squid Island. As you guys most likely know, on July 6th, 2024, Craner blew up Squid Island to pieces as part of the revolution. In the episode prior to that one, Slogo made a video where he built a TNT factory that would be used to create TNT. He made Melvin and Tyke breed so that they could produce a kitten. He would then use Tyke and Little Tyke to run the TNT factory. Ah, here's where he keeps his pets in the in the kitchen. All right, Tyke, come on up here, buddy. Yeah, I hear you, bud. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. Hey, come on. All right, I'm hoping that we can breed Tyke with Melvin and get another cat. One, two. Guys, come on. Introduce yourselves. No, 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 over here. Don't be shy. Okay, let me just sit you down. There you go. Come on. Come on. Yes! We got it. It's Baby Tyke. Baby Tyke. Baby Tyke is a green collar. All right. Thanks, Melvin, for your contribution there, buddy. There we go. Two cats secured. So they will be used to scare the creepers in this factory. Fast forward to July 6th, and the trio met up for yet another group episode. It primarily consisted of Joey and Sluggo going to the end to get a presidential elytra, while Craner put a bunch of TNT on Squid Island. As I've said before, Craner adding TNT to Squid Island was part of the revolution that he planned out with Sluggo. If you didn't exactly gather the hidden cues right there or gather it from the intro, I'm of course not going to be cleaning up after the boss, okay? That's not what I'm doing today. I am finally starting the revolution! And in order to start a proper revolution, we need to tear down everything that doesn't work so that we can build something new eventually. Hopefully. The first thing that we're gonna get rid of in the revolution is, of course, the giant, dumb, ugly walls. They have got to absolutely go, dude. Also, I need to cover up all this water so that I'm actually sure that everything blows up. Yes, I mean everything. Not only am I gonna get rid of the walls, I am going to get rid of all of Squid Island. The politics, the rules and the laws are clearly not working anymore. Me and Josh want freedom. And the only way to get it is by force at this point. Jelly will not allow us to do it without drastic changes. The amount of TNT that Craner put down though is honestly legitimately crazy. I say this because it pretty much ensured that Squid Island was going to be completely destroyed. What's also funny is that through Craner's point of view, we ended up finding out where Goat went. Why is there a goat here? Anyway, uh... Anyway, when Slogo and Joey returned from the end, they found out how much TNT Craner had put throughout Squid Island. After this, Craner blew up Squid Island. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Welcome Craner, what to the revolution! No! no! Oh. Yes! What? Wait. What? Oh, no! my! To clean up Squid Everything Island. has to be... What? Blow up! So yeah, let's talk about it. I actually predicted that Squid Island would get blown up as seen in this comment here. So that means I should play the lottery. Anyway, what does this mean for the future of Squid Island? For one, it means that the series is gonna go on a break. After all, if you watch the end of the trio's videos, you'll see a screen that says something along the lines of Squid Island will return soon. Not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of happy that Squid Island is going on a break. Not a lot of progress had been made game-wise since the presidency was created, so I feel like a break would be a good time for the series to reset in a way. It had also been very chaotic, so a break from the series would be a pretty good idea. It might also lead to the trio splitting up on Squid Island and going to their own territories. After all, it's been proven that Slogo, Joey, and Craner don't get along the best when they live in an island together. I could be wrong about all this though, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. What do you guys think will happen on Squid Island next? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. 